Next spring, the Expedition 1 crew will lift off from Kazakhstan aboard a Russian Soyuz spacecraft. They'll be the first astronauts to live and work aboard the International Space Station. The crew, comprised of two Russian cosmonauts, Yuri Gudzenko and Sergei Krikalov, and American Bill Shepard, will spend five months aboard the station, coordinating the assembly of solar power panels, an American laboratory module, and the station's primary robotic arm. These astronauts, at the very peak of their training, have been preparing for over three years for this crucial first flight test of the space station. Because most crews will travel by shuttle to the space station, their training must include standard shuttle operations training, as well as specialized training in space station assembly and operations. In basic training, astronauts are introduced to shuttle technology and the disorienting effects of space here on Earth in facilities that mimic the real thing as closely as possible. Specially designed NASA simulators have controls and displays that are identical to those on the shuttle and the space station. This allows crew members to not only become familiar with shuttle equipment, but also to undergo realistic flight scenarios. During a mock mission, the simulator's computers can create a range of malfunctions and let astronaut trainees learn to solve them without risking lives. The shuttle's orbiter is very similar to a military jet, especially the way it lands. So pilot astronauts prepare to fly it by training on high-performance jets like the T-38 or NASA's modified Gulfstream II, which has been configured to behave like the orbiter. To simulate weightlessness, astronauts train in an enhanced KC-135 four-engine transport jet, affectionately called the Vomit Comet. NASA's neutral buoyancy facility provides longer periods of weightlessness, training in a water tank 25 feet deep. Mock spacewalks like these help astronauts determine how long and well they can work in space all before leaving the Earth. After a year of this basic training, astronauts then undergo advanced training with the emphasis on preparing crews to work as a team on simulations that directly relate to their upcoming mission. During their mission to the International Space Station and their return to Earth next July, the Expedition 1 crew will use valuable skills and techniques that they acquired during their NASA training, skills all NASA astronauts will continue to develop in decades to come. This is Jim Slade for Science and Space on the Discovery Science Channel.